All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's fellow Gen Z Brit again with another rent video. Today, we're going to be checking out McKay. From what it looks like, this song is dedicated to his close friend, McKay. It seems here like without him being able to find the words, this song is like um, a medium for him to be able to just really showcase how he feels about this situation, how he's grieving it. Music, man, is such a powerful thing, and especially when it's something that's being used to convey emotions, right? Um, let's get straight into this one. Let's go. Wow. That's a location. out to the sky. Oh, Callum McKay, 1989 to 2011. Wow. Um, love and miss you always. Wow, he was young. I do the maths here. That's one, 10, plus another 11. 11, 22. No, yeah. Oh, what? Am I doing it? Wait, 11. Yeah, 11. That's 2000. 22. He, wow. Wow. Oh, love and miss you always. Damn. <clears throat> That's deep. Now, what's really interesting about this drop from Ren is that although there were no actual words expressed in this video, this video in itself, this song just spoke a thousand lyrics, right? Especially how it came across to me. I mean, throughout the entire the entirety of this song, of this piano set, right? There was not a single like abrasive, like more blunt piano key tone that was pressed from the, from start to finish, which came across to me as gentle and fragile and delicate, right? And for me that maybe echoes how 
he still feels you know sensitive about this situation like i mean in, in the script he's talking about how this is something that was hard to express and i felt that through the more gentle more softer piano keys that he was playing that is how it reflected to me i did like i feel like if he was to play it more harsh you know more aggressive maybe you would feel more anger within the tone of this song but this one seemed more peaceful delicate and angelic even you know and that theme kind of was reflected through the music video i mean ren's choice of scenery with these videos he always seems to choose places that are very reflective of the, the the mood he's trying to set you can tell he's very intentional with not just what he's putting out into the physical you know music but also into the video itself it doesn't surprise me as well that this video was done in one take from start to finish that there was no single cut and that's something that rent is very much well known for he's done it in countless songs of his and i always love that so much because it makes you feel more involved in the piece that he's dropping because it comes across more authentic and real right you know when you remove the snappy edits when you remove the cuts like as if you're trying to embellish it and you just leave in it's it in its entirety its rawness there was like this this cyclical structure that i felt to this song you know there was like he began it with you know a, a more slower more um spaced type speed right with what, how he was doing the piano keys which felt very even more delicate but then there was moments where he sped it up you know and then he got really intricate with the you know the piano that he he was playing with the with the with the way he was playing sorry and um you know and it started to get a lot more faster in pace and a lot more deeper and more intricate with the, the piano keys that I was hearing especially the tone that was being set and I felt that kind of maybe may have reflected this kind of cyclical structure of how he felt with his emotions right like how there's probably moments where he felt this peace in an acceptance of the fact that he died I mean he said he died in 2011 so I mean this is almost 10 years ago right I mean this was 10 years plus ago over 10 years ago and he's only dropping this song now so maybe there's this element of him coming to peace with the fact that he died through those slower, more spaced out um, parts of the song. But then when he sped it up, maybe that reflected more of this um, shock, this this like confusion, you know, having to accept the fact that your closest, one of your closest mates is actually gone. It kind of just hits you so fast. And maybe that was reflected through the, the, the way he sped it up. But then he brought it back to the more slower pacing that he began with and he did end it with that more slower pacing when he pans it out to the to the sky at the end i mean yeah that's how this video struck me and of course like ren is a very incredible artist in general like and the the masterpiece he was able to put forward on that piano of his like he's so talented um as an artist and he just shows you that in abundance with, with videos like this and i can only imagine how deep this must be for him my condolences to him and McKay, anyone who's any of mckay's loved ones that are personally suffering through this that's what i thought of this video guys look let me know how this one impacted you like was this a song that brought tears to your eyes i mean me personally on like i haven't personally dealt with you know having to deal with the feelings of losing someone so maybe you know if i had gone through that i'd be able to really empathize with this a lot more like I'm sure this was definitely one that's gonna really hit a lot of people so, so deeply. And let me know if this is actually one that really stuck with you and hit you deeply. And yeah, I'll be very curious to know. Guys, look, if you made it to this point in the video, make sure you comment down a white heart, not only for uh, McKay, you know, to, so that we know that he's, I guess the love that is there for him, that his soul is resting in perfect peace, God willing. Um, but just so you know, so I know as well who made it to this point in the video. Of course, you guys know how much I appreciate every single one of you that just sticks with me and has been supporting me along in this journey. My flex is out there that are watching these. Um, nothing but love to you guys. And yeah, guys, what a drop from Ren. This one here was a heartstring puller. And yeah, guys, look, with that being said, I've been your boy J Flex. This has been Ren McKay. For those of you guys that made this far, you guys have been absolutely wonderful. I'll see you guys. Peace.